Hello, my name is Allie. I'm one of the first year fellows. Welcome to a day in the life of a Duke Nephrology Fellow. We want to give you a taste of what life is like in Durham and at Duke. I'm on the acute ICU service and just woke up. It's about 6 a.m. and I'm feeling pretty refreshed this morning since I got a full night of sleep. We don't have hall here, which means no nighttime pages. I live in an apartment complex in downtown Durham and it takes me only about 10 minutes door to door to get to Duke Hospital. I try to be at work around 7, maybe a little sooner. When I arrive at the dialysis unit, I start pre-charting on my patients. Our workroom here is great because I get to be around my co-fellows and other services. As I said, I'm on the acute service, so let me tell you more about that. This service is an interprofessional team. Our PA manages the cardiothoracic ICU, and I manage the medical, surgical, and cardiac ICUs. While my attending rounds with our PA in the CT ICU, I pre-run on my patients in the other three units. Sometimes I have medical students and residents with me as well. We do a ton of CRRT. We have 32 machines and often have a majority of them in use. Now I'll pass it over to Aruna, who can tell you a bit more about rounding in the outpatient dialysis unit. Hello, my name is Aruna. As a second year fellow, we spend time caring for outpatients with kidney failure in one of 16 local dialysis units that our faculty directs. We have a comprehensive curriculum that covers all the aspects of HD rounding. This is directed by one of our two APDs, Dr. Harpreet Singh. As a clinical fellow, I have the opportunity to choose a clinical concentration as well as spend time working on a QI or research project. I am focusing on home dialysis modalities. This is on top of the exposure everyone gets to home HD and PD in the second year with Dr. Frazier, who leads our home dialysis education. We see a lot of these patients in the hospital as well during our first year. In fact, Kirsten has one of my patients on the transplant service right now. Hi there, I'm Kirsten. I'm on the transplant service. This is a great service because we have an awesome interdisciplinary team with social workers, NPs, PAs, the transplant surgery attending, transplant educators, transplant pharmacists, and our transplant nephrologist. We always have a great time. Duke performs over 200 kidney transplants each year. We see everything from a simultaneous liver kidney, heart kidney, and pancreas kidney transplantation. When I'm on the service, I assist in the immunosuppression decisions, electrolyte and fluid management, as well as if we need to do a kidney biopsy to evaluate for a rejection. It always allows for a broad general internal medicine knowledge and you get to know the patients well. The best part of the rotation is the transplant attendings. We have nine transplant nephrologists, which is one of the largest programs in the country. I wonder what Jasmine is up to. Hey, my name's Jasmine. I'm on the floor service right now where we typically care for around 20 consult patients for a wide variety of things, from AKI to glomerular nephritis, and we also manage the hospitalized PD patients. Fortunately, ICU and HD patients are cared for by the other fellows and APPs, which gives me more time to think through the more complex questions and problems I'll see on the floor service. Here, I have a perfect balance between autonomy and support from the attendings. This is also the service where you'll do most of your native kidney biopsies. Rounding time is flexible on the floor team, but on Wednesdays, I usually try to get most of my work done before noon conference. Noon conference is great because I get to see all of my co-fellows and get some lunch in a low-key environment. We have conferences once to twice a week throughout the year covering all the important topics. Oh hey, looks like Arushi is on her way from the VA across the street. Hi, I'm Arushi. I'm on the VA console service right now, but since the VA is right across the street, I can still participate in all the conferences at Duke. Working at the VA gives you a more bread and butter nephrology experience, caring for all kinds of patients at once, including transplant, ESRD, ICU, and floor patients. With all that said, there's usually a lower census here. There's a great team here too, with dialysis nurses, APPs, and social work, all working together every day for both inpatients and outpatients. I also enjoy the fellow workroom with a window. We also don't work weekends at the VA, so we have time to explore Durham. Micah is here with me, finishing up some of his VA clinic notes. Hi, I'm Micah, and I'm on the Duke Central Tower service. This service was established based on feedback from our fellow-led fellowship improvement committee. It helps decompress the floor service by focusing on patients in the Duke Central Tower. We care for a variety of patients, including those in the neuro ICU, post bone marrow transplant, onco nephrology, and post liver transplant. We also handle 
undifferentiated AKI consults in the ER, allowing us to do thorough workups and deepen our understanding of AKI differential diagnosis. Another benefit of this service is that we don't work on weekends. No matter how busy the day gets, my co-fellows and I try to take some time out of our day to rewind and recharge. For today, it's an afternoon coffee run. Hey, Mike is here to teach us about POCUS. This is a fantastic opportunity for fellows to learn this valuable skill. Hi, I'm Mike Turk, second year nephrology fellow here at Duke. Starting academic year 24-25, we are introducing our pilot, hands-on, longitudinal POCUS curriculum within the Duke Nephrology Fellowship Program. This project is supported by the Department of Medicine SEEDS program for aspiring clinician educators, another wonderful offering provided by Duke. This pilot is in addition to our two-week-long didactic and hands-on learning module that has been in place for five years. We provide resources to help you use our new Echo News Cosmos ultrasound system, currently available exclusively to our nephrology fellows both at Duke and at the Durham VA. The Cosmos ultrasound system is the latest in technology that incorporates artificial intelligence to identify and label structures, assist in optimal image acquisition, can be used to perform VEXIS scans, and even has an auto EF feature. Our fellows keep a portfolio of all scans performed throughout their time at Duke so they can submit this for certification if they would like to. Hello, I'm Ben, and I'm one of the third year research fellows. My research focuses on understanding the impact of kidney disease and cardiovascular disease. This year I was awarded a fellowship funded by the North Carolina TRIO Training Grant. This award spans Duke, UNC, and Wake Forest. This allows for not only multidisciplinary mentorship, but also allows me to interact with trainees and faculty from different institutions. Duke also offers additional mentorship programs. I am participating in the Fellow Research Academy, which provides me with additional one-on-one -on -one mentorship as well as programs centered on professional development and grant funding. I have been nurtured both on a professional and personal level at Duke. Through the support of our fellowship program leadership, I serve as an editorial intern for the American Journal of Kidney Disease. I am participating in the Duke Clinical Research Institute Research Fellowship Training Program. I am currently pursuing a master's in health science paid for by the Division of Nephrology as part of the clinical training and research program. Let's see what Pallaview is doing this week on our outpatient block. Hi, I'm Pallavi Vaidya. I'm currently on an outpatient block. First year fellows typically have eight weeks of outpatient immersion. This is an opportunity to spend time in various outpatient clinics like kidney stones, transplant, plasmapheresis, and vascular access. These are offered during our second year as well, where we can tailor our schedules to align with our interests such as GN clinics or onconephrology clinics. Our journal clubs and grand rounds are scheduled during outpatient immersion so that we have plenty of time to work on them. We also have time to meet potential mentors, and most importantly, weekends are off. I have my Duke Continuity Clinic this afternoon with Dr. Sparks. We have a half-day clinic every week that alternates between the VA and Duke. At both places, we have our own patient panel and a consistent mentor. Our patients definitely view us as their primary nephrologists. We value our patient outcomes highly, so in the last year, we have created a CKD dashboard that allows us to look at our patient panel to see how we best optimize them with our CKD medications, transplant referrals, and modality education. Additionally, our clinic has remote blood pressure monitoring abilities, so we can see real-time data for blood pressure measurements and make changes accordingly. One of my favorite things about clinic is seeing a variety of kidney pathology. We have a state-of-the-art phase contrast microscope that allows us to perform urine microscopy for our clinic patients. The microscope can even project the image via Wi-Fi to everyone's phones in the room. We have a wonderful nursing staff that help us throughout the clinic to be as efficient as possible. Arash is currently on night float. Let's see what he's up to tonight. Hello, I'm Arash. This week, I'm the night float fellow. I start my shift at 5 p.m. and cover all the services, including new consults, until about 7 a.m. During this one to two week rotation, we have two full days off each week. The other nights are covered by either an attending or a fellow who's moonlighting, which is a great opportunity for second year fellows. An on-call attending is available every night to provide support whenever needed. There's often enough downtime to get a few hours of sleep, which is also a bonus. This rotation allows my co-fellows to go home and get uninterrupted rest, and I look forward to the same when I return to day shifts next week. Thanks, Arash. Now that I've wrapped up my work here, I'm going to meet some of my co-fellows and their partners for dinner in downtown Durham. I've learned a lot about Durham this past year. Taking care of patients in the hospital and seeing them in clinic has given me an appreciation for the diverse population we serve. We also try to enhance our care of community by collaborating with other nephrologists in the research triangle through the NKF. There's a lot to do in the triangle area. You can watch a minor league baseball game, professional hockey, college basketball is huge, or you can take a day to visit the CRP Duke Gardens. 
Durham is a few hours from the beach and the mountains, and the downtown scene is fun and happening. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Duke Nephrology. We work hard, we play hard, and we take care of each other. We hope to see you as a fellow at Duke next year.